Have you ever wondered why the moon changes shape throughout the month? These changes are called the phases of the moon, and they're all about how the moon orbits Earth and reflects sunlight. In this video, we'll break down each phase of the moon and why it happens. Let's dive in and explore the lunar cycle together. The moon's phases are all about its position in relation to Earth and the sun. As the moon orbits Earth, we see different amounts of its sunlit side. This change in visibility gives us the eight distinct phases of the lunar cycle. The first is the new moon. The new moon is the beginning of the lunar cycle. At this phase, the moon is between Earth and the sun, making it invisible from Earth. With no sunlight reaching the side we see, the sky appears moonless. Next is the waxing crescent. After the new moon, a small crescent of light appears, known as the waxing crescent. Waxing means the moon is growing, and we'll see more of it each night. After that, in comes the first quarter. The first quarter happens about a week after the new moon. At this phase, half of the moon's face is lit, creating a clear half moon in the sky. After the first quarter, the moon enters the waxing gibbous phase. In this phase, more than half of the moon's face is lit, but it's not yet fully illuminated. Each night, we see more of the moon as it heads toward fullness. This continues over several days until we see the full moon. The full moon is when the moon's face is completely lit up. This occurs when Earth is positioned between the sun and the moon. We get a perfect view of the entire sunlit side, making it appear as a bright, full circle in the night sky. After the full moon, the moon begins to shrink, or wane, starting with what's known as the waning gibbous phase. In this phase, the illuminated area of the moon decreases each night, signaling the start of the moon's journey back toward darkness. Then we're on to the last quarter. The last quarter, also known as the third quarter, happens about three weeks into the lunar cycle. At this phase, only half of the moon is visible again, but it's the opposite side from the first quarter. And finally, it's the turn of the waning crescent. As the moon continues to wane or disappear from view, it reaches the waning crescent phase. Only a small sliver of the moon's face is illuminated at this point. This final phase leads us back to the new moon, where the cycle begins again. The moon's phases repeat every 29.5 days, creating a constant rhythm in our night sky. Each phase gives us a unique view of the moon, from dark to full and back again. For centuries, the phases of the moon have helped humans track time, grow crops, and even plan cultural events. Today, the moon's phases continue to inspire curiosity and wonder, connecting us to the natural cycle. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the phases of the moon. If you enjoyed learning about the lunar cycle, don't forget to like, subscribe, and explore more with us. See you in the next video.